Right, guys, I'm about to take you around Masaki Hatsumi's um, museum, but can you get yourself a copy of the Book of Bushido? Now, that will help really get a lot of more research done in the future. Now, I had a visit to the shrine called Togakushi, and that is the alternative reading for Togakure, or I should say Togakure is the alternative reading for Togakushi. And um, it's up in the hills in the snow, and you can visit there, and it's good fun. It's... Um, there's a little ninja trick house, there's throwing shuriken stuff, and there's um, different things you can do, have tea and all that, and little folk museum. That's the Rodanshu and the Bansen Shukai, and some other, other documents. Unfortunately, the scroll I was looking for was not there. Now, these some of these are antiques, but some of them are modern. So some of them have been modern made in the 20th century, which makes them still sometimes nearly 100 years old or 80 years old, something like that. But some of them are modern, some of them are old. Now, uh, for new viewers, basically, um, Hatsumi is a man who brought the image of the ninja to the West, along with Stephen Hayes. Now, it's partly historical. There are some historical aspects into it, but most of it is a 20th century pop culture phenomenon. And this museum is dedicated to the phenomenon that was um, the Bujinkan and Togakuryu, which was established in the mid 20th century. And uh, also there's some of the stuff that you can clearly see some Edo period stuff, which is a bit older, but again, more modern stuff. But here we have lots and lots of images from Hatsumi. It shows lots of the images are from his books, but also the images that didn't make it to his books, I think are there as well. So uh, be prepared for mainly a lot of photographs photographs you may have seen but nice to see them blown up and it's a lovely old building you have to go up the stairs to get there it's a bit misleading because you go downstairs and there's nothing really there some old furniture and stuff like that but then go upstairs and it's fine i think they should really remake use of the downstairs properly um but here you see some classic and that ah oh, i forgot his name i trained with him once or twice in the in the old days i think it was brin someone but um, again, as you can see, lots of the old photos. Now, um, you have to be careful here because in Japan, they don't differentiate between sort of a real museum with historical facts and checking and dates versus a self-funded or museum in this case. So what we have here is um, basically somebody who's run their own organization based on the information from Takamatsu and who obviously claims it's very old. But, uh, you know, non-confirmed and that, that's a big debate still happening. But uh, it's really nice to see some of the old stuff, some of the old pictures. It was a bit of a trip down memory lane and uh, some interesting bits. Like it gets a bit comedic, like this is how to disguise yourself and things like that and teeth like that. It's a little bit caricature, but a lot of it is based on comics and 20th century ideas of what the ninja should be. But I hope you enjoyed that and I hope it helps you go and visit. If you enjoy ninjas, get yourself a copy of the Book of Ninja. It's by far the best place to start with ninjutsu. That will help you. But also, I've done other books. I've done 20. But one of the main ones you should be getting is the Book of Bushido, which will help you understand just how the samurai, uh, you know, looked uh, life and how they behaved. If you want to start your training, get yourself a copy of How to Be a Modern Samurai. Subscribe and like, everyone. I hope you enjoyed.